Hello friends. Uh, today is my ninth presentation on the subject of ethics in the real estate and hospitality industry. Uh, today's topic is how to carry on, uh, carry out risk assessment at the organization level, which have its three design functions. Uh, what is included in this today's presentation is purpose and activities for carrying out risk assessment at the organization level. Number two, designing a risk template, and three is activities that can adversely impact business while carrying out the risk assessment process at the organization level. Now, what is the purpose of carrying out risk assessment? Uh, the key objective of risk assessment in the design functions is to identify such risks and their likely occurrences, and analyzing these and initiating countermeasures for preventing risk with service three design functions that is design of architecture interior designing and design and mep functions designing of MEP, mep uh now the primarily there are five activities which i propose need to be performed or conducted for carrying out risk assessment number one is uh, having a uh, uh, risk assessment team which is a cross functional team uh, from various functions such as project, beside design function project, or finance, or risk management function, uh, or marketing function, etc., as appropriate to the business uh, of the company. Uh, identifying aspects that can contribute to organization level risk uh, uh, mentioned. Uh, uh, design risk assessment template for the organization level risks and software programming of the risk template and populating the organization risk uh, levels template by design functionals in consideration with the cross function team I mentioned above. Now, suggested template for carrying out risk assessment is basically uh, it is a um, uh, maybe one page statement, one page statement which has got primarily uh, 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 different uh, rows uh, comprising of the first one being that key function name here we have to state uh, whether we are doing this assessment on behalf of uh, design of architecture function or design of materials or design of MP function. So we have to prepare one sheet for each function. Then we have to evolve what is called risk statements. Uh, uh, these are to be developed by the uh, respective uh, HOD of each of the three functions one by one. Visa is various aspects. Some of the important aspects which are relevant is that uh, Design that uh, the competition, how is the competition with service our offerings, economy, state of economy, political environment, social infrastructure, substitutes of the proposed units uh, or the types of building that we are preparing, prepare, planning to construct and sell, uh, government policies, particularly the statutory uh, related policies, taxation policies, the customer demands, and uh, business associates, any related to the uh, vendors or contractors or other associates like banking and uh, sudden outage if something happens to the entire IT infrastructure or the technical infrastructure uh, what happens so uh, in this uh, the um, respective HOD they need to capture uh, simple risk statements which are there with service each of their respective function. Uh, then uh, once the risk statement have been prepared, then uh, designers, HODs, they need to uh, prepare uh, in consultation with the cross-functional team by involving them aggressively uh, uh, various uh, uh, aspects of the service competition uh, like what so if analysis to be done with service competition, with service economy uh, and so on, so on, so on and so forth for each of these nine risk statements which have been prepared. In fact, I remember having prepared such statements where for each of these uh, aspects like competition or economy or uh, other aspects I mentioned above, uh, there were two, three, four pages per per uh, per risk statement because very aggressive analysis needs to be carried out to understand the entire situation, how it is going to affect my business. Then uh, once this has been done, then uh, based on this risk uh, uh, analysis which have been carried out in the previous uh, uh, previous uh, statement, uh, 
uh, uh, HODs they need to assign a risk level to these. This could be high risk or medium risk or uh, low risk. And um, uh, I have shown this in different colors. So against each of these statement, we have is nine parameters I mentioned. One has to capture whether the risk is high or medium or low. We have is each type of risk uh, statements. Uh, once this has been done, then uh, HODs need to also capture what are the actions which are proposed by the concerned uh, HOD to mitigate the risk of such uh, such a thing happening. And uh, uh, again, it has to be done with each of these nine statements which were prepared. Now, once it has been done uh, based on the inputs from CFD, uh, now uh, this these need to be presented to the top management who must devote time and uh, top management means CO and MD, they need to uh, uh, give their own value addition to the uh, uh, risk uh, statement which have been prepared as also the countermeasure and the timelines and the responsibilities who will uh, do what. Um, that's very, very important. So based on this, a single page risk statement, uh, organizational risk statement can be prepared. Now, now uh, in, this, uh, in, the, in the last uh, uh, last uh, end of this page, uh, one has to prepare particularly from the perspective of the carrying out on the uh, uh, this uh, IT perspective, ERC perspective. One has to uh, very clearly capture this that we have each function uh, who uh, who has created this uh, this statement, who has edited it, who has viewed it, and who has approved it. Uh, uh, this no one has to do at which which particular uh, level person is uh, once you write the name of the person uh, like you know for example you are doing for the architecture now what is the user level designer level who has created it edited it reviewed it and approved it uh, then the user de 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 designers uh, position assistant manager deputy manager manager uh, general manager HOD etc and on date, which date these were created and edited and viewed and approved. Uh, now, activities that can uh, that adversely impact while doing this uh, business analysis is the number one is that the uh, the team which has been formed, cross-functional team which has been formed, uh, that may not be appropriate. It may not be representing all the relevant section and relevant functions associated with this assessment. And then, inadequate participation by the nominated members of design function. This is a typical problem which is uh, faced by organizations because even if the members uh, have been nominated properly, they don't have time to attend to this. Therefore, then the entire all the perspectives and service this assessment they are not reflected in the risk statements or in the deliberations. Then uh, the software development uh, which is carried out, which is required, and the workflow. If these are not uh, in a proper template as uh, mentioned above, uh, then this becomes this capsule becomes very cumbersome and very very inefficient and losing the interest of the team. Uh, then uh, uh, in case the risk statements are not comprehensive uh, <coughs> uh, or the risk analysis is not uh, uh, accurate and uh, non-comprehensive, uh, this can adversely impact the business in terms of identifying the countermeasures or some of the countermeasures required may be actually absolutely missed out. Uh, next uh, is that in case the classification uh, is not uh, done properly, the high or medium or low, uh, then the, uh, obviously the conclusions in terms of the countermeasures will not be all right. It is likely that the risk statement, uh, risk is actually is high and it is perceived as medium or it is uh, medium and it is perceived as low or vice versa. So uh, these are very, very important analysis which need to be done. And inadequate time commitment by the top management to review the risk template which have been developed by these CFT and by the HODs. And uh, now, uh, because of the uh, time dimension, you know, these uh, nine uh, aspects which I mentioned, like uh, competition or uh, business environments or business associates, they keep on changing the time. Now, non-timely review of these and incorporating the changes in the risk statement can also cause uh, incorrect assessment of the risks. And uh, 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 one has to also capture particularly the uh, risks which are there, uh, statutory risks which are there because of this statement. Now, now what what uh, one is suggesting is that for creating responsibilities 
should be the respective functional uh, coordinator and the HODs. The editing should be preferably done by the CFT, comprising of the HOD, the organizational level risk coordinator, uh, which can be appointed and nominated by the uh, CEO. Um, uh, deletion rights should be with the HODs of the respective function, like uh, HODs, uh, chief architect or chief interior designer or chief of the MAP design function. View right can be with the HODs of respective function plus CFT. Uh, uh, view right uh, one is suggesting that because this is a very confidential statement at the organization risk level, so therefore one is limiting it to the HODs, but depending on the uh, choice of the uh, organization, it can be delegated down also. View right can be assigned to different lower level also. Approval, it is suggested that it should be at the CEO and the MD level uh, for the reasons I mentioned above. Uh, now, these aspects are available in my uh, book uh, called uh, Ethics and Real Estate and Hospitality Industry, Volume 1. And uh, you can also refer to the blogs which are there on my website uh, for which address is given here. Uh, you can also look at by Facebook and LinkedIn where some of the posts have been uh, incorporated. Uh, now, book is available on Amazon.in and Amazon.com. Thank you very much.